determination of viscosity of liquid using Oswald viscometer. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we will see the viva voice of this experiment. So the first question is what is viscosity? In very simple words it is the resistance to flow or viscosity can be defined as the property by which the fluid opposes the relative motion between its different layers. Next question, what are the types of viscosity? So first of all you need to know that viscosity is an intrinsic property of a fluid and there are two types of viscosity that is kinematic viscosity and dynamic viscosity. Next give the units of viscosity it is pascal seconds and poise. Another name for Oswald viscometer the answer is capillary tube viscometer or U tube viscometer. What is the working principle of Oswald viscometer? Answer is Poisson's law. What is Poisson's law? So the statement of this law goes like this. For laminar fluid, the flow rate of liquid can be represented as the ratio of pressure difference with respect to the viscous resistance. Explain coefficient of viscosity. It is denoted by the letter eta and it is the tangential force required per unit area to maintain a unit velocity gradient. The coefficient of viscosity is given as F upon A into dV by dz. The dimensions are m1, l-1, t-1. Next question, give the formula of viscous force. So upon rearranging the formula of coefficient of viscosity, we will get the formula for viscous force as F equals to eta A into dV by dz. Here A is the area of layers in contact, eta is the coefficient of viscosity and dV by dz is the velocity gradient. What is viscosity index? So it is a unitless quantity and it indicates the variation in the value of viscosity with respect to the changes in the temperature. Give the viscosity index formula, so represented as Vi and Vi equals to L minus U upon L minus H into 100. How viscosity changes with temperature? So for fluids, we will have viscosity to be inversely proportional to the temperature. As the temperature increases, the viscosity value drops. Lower the viscosity, greater the flow. Is this statement correct? Well, yes, it is correct. The fluid having high viscosity will move with a slow velocity and the fluid having less viscosity will move very rapidly and so we can say lower the viscosity greater the flow or vice versa explain the term terminal velocity it can be defined as the constant velocity acquired by a spherical body which is falling freely into a liquid medium and terminal velocity can be expressed by this formula on what factors does the volume of liquid flowing in narrow tube per second depends on so the answer is radius of tube, pressure difference at the ends of the tube and the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid. Next question, what is the value of viscosity of water at room temperature? So it is approximately equal to 1 millipascal second or you can say 0 0.01 poise. Name the fluid having very high viscosity. So the answer is pitch. Name the fluid having very less viscosity. So the answer is water. What is Bernoulli's theorem? So it states that the total energy of the fluid will remain constant and the equation represents that the sum of pressure energy, potential energy and kinetic energy will be equal to a constant value. Newtonian fluid means what? So the answer is these are the fluids whose viscosity remains constant and it is independent of the shear rate. The examples of Newtonian fluid are water, alcohol, mineral oil, etc. What is the drawback of Oswald viscometer? So the drawback of this instrument is that we can't test the liquids having very high viscosity values. For such fluids, we will need other sophisticated instruments. Mention some of the applications of viscosity. So in light machinery, we use oil which has the low viscosity value. Whereas in case of heavy machineries, we use oil having high viscosity value. Other than that, the applications are in blood circulation, in cooking, food processing, cosmetics, etc. So that was the probable questions and answers of this experiment. I hope the video helped you. Thank you so much for watching till the end and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.